Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host Leandro Mada, and in this video we're going to see how we can communicate our PLC in Machine Expert with an HMI on Visual Designer. So let's go to the software. I have this small application of the M251, okay, which has a POU in the task and a GBL. So the idea is to communicate the HMI to a PLC over Ethernet, or it could be more over Modbus serial. In our case, I'm going to simulate the HMI to be much easier for us. So the first thing that we need to do is to add the HMI in our project. So we just need to go to device tree, right click over here, add device. In the list, we just need to go to the Harmony, HMI and IPC. And here you have the list of the um, I, HMIs or IPCs. So in my case, I'm going to use the HMI GDO because I just like it. And we just need to wait for this to finish and load the VGL designer part. Okay, that in my case, it has been loaded in my other screen. So here you can see the component of VGL design. So in order to share the information from the HMI or from the PLC to the HMI, it's mandatory to add a symbol configuration. So for that, we just need to go to the tools tree. On the application part of the PLC, we just need to go right click, add object, and here we need to find for the symbol configuration, which is this one. Okay, we just name it, just leave it as it. And there we go. So once it is added, we just need to build Okay, and we can build again. And we should be able to see in here the list of the POUs, GBLs, and the configuration part of the uh, of the communication on the TN3 bus. So in the GBL, we can see that they have the same information. Okay, on the IO config, there is nothing, but if I have a TN3, we should be able to see over here. And the POU test is only the local variable. So Thanks to the symbol configuration, we should be able to only click the variables that we want, okay, and share that with the HMI. So once you have selected the information that you want, okay, you also have the possibility to limit the access, okay, by here, clicking over here. If you see here that you have the two arrows, so if you uncheck this, no communication, just send information. This is only reading and this one read and write information. Okay, so you also have more information or more configuration of the variable. Not only just click the variable to select and share. So once you have done this, we just need to build the project. Okay, on the HMI side, we should be able to see this. Which is a designer, so some machine has been updated. Even if it's so machine, now it's machine expert. Okay. So on the IO manager, we should be able to see the HMI. Okay, but what we need to do is to go to variables, import variable from some machine, even if it's machine expert. Here, we just need to select the target and from the list of variables, we just can select all of them. Okay, or some of them. So in our case, we just going to select uh, these two okay once you add some of the variables in the project okay you can see that this new device has been added okay my controller okay which is the device over here this one so if we go to variables again we should be able to see the list of variables that we have added okay so imagine that i want more information so Let's create another GBL, for example, GBL HMI. It's important that once you create the variables over here, uh, test is, is used in any POU, otherwise probably you shouldn't be able to see it. So let's add this GBL gbl underscore hmi dot test variable so let's 
compile this information. We just need to go to the symbol configuration again. Okay, just compile just in case. See that you have now the GBL. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to build this. Now, if we go to the BGL designer now, you can see a new message that the variables have been updated. So if we go here, right click on variables, import variable from so machine, we should be able to see this list updated. So here I have the HMI once again, and the variable has been updated. So this part is related how you can update the variables, okay, from the PLC and see it on the HMI. So now we are going to focus on how we can establish the communication. So for the PLC side, it is good to match the configuration that you have on the Ethernet port, okay, to say in the same range as the HMI. So the configuration of the HMI part can be done here in the network. We're going to assign another IP address, 43, 255. 0, 0, okay, use this one for the load, so that is not enough, what we need to check here is the node name that we have, so for the my controller, this must be the node name that we have on the PLC side, so if we go to my controller on the device 3, we should be able to connect to this PLC, okay, and I have this node name, so I'm going to double click on this, Compile, I'm going to connect to this PLC and download the information. I'm going to use the administrator, administrator in my case, but you can use another one. So in the machine expert, I have the security. Okay, so I'm going to try to connect using the security. Okay, the application. System loading, you can see there on the bottom. Okay. And play. Okay, so on the PLC part, okay, we have downloaded the HMI, the, the code, okay, and the configuration. So now we need to work on the HMI part. So it's important that we should know this num name so we can use it. I'm going to copy just in case. But when we compile on the VGO designer, we should have that name over here so for the pills for the hmi part we're gonna cover that later when we have the connector but here we can define any name that you want okay and if i define here for example plc then it will gonna be changed so let's build all just avoid any errors so here you can see that on the so machine my controller the nom name has been changed because I have already selected over here. Okay, there is no need to copy and paste. It's just define, connect to the target you have, and then you should be able to build the application and see over here. So now let's see the behavior that we have on the HMI. So I'm going to use memory display just to see some information so once you want to use the variables you just need to select some machine and in here you can see all the variables that you have so i'm going to use this one double click here enable input okay and i'm going to use the other one okay and da -da 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 -da. bit toggle and some machine GPL test. Add. Okay. And I'm going to use with lamp. There we go. So I mentioned that in order to connect with the with the PLC, I have used security because in the version of Machine Expert, now by default it creates a, a group. And you need to create the password for that group okay so 
based on that in order to communicate with the picture designer we need to add that security so in order to add that security we just need to go over here in the device and my controller and add the security that i have in use on the plc so if i don't use this we shouldn't be able to connect with the plc and see an error so let's simulate so you can see the error okay so here i don't have any communication at all with the pgl designer so probably after the at least 10 seconds 15 seconds we should be able to see the error okay even if i change this there is no communication at all it's very to connect okay which is good because there is no security established or configured in the controller so i'm going to close this go my controller enable security i'm going to add the user i have and for this one straighter show password and make straighter okay here if i simulate this once again we should be able to communicate with the plc without having any problems so here let's wait for this to finish there we go so let's see what do we have here just to show you that it's working so if i change this to 51 51 over there if i go to the hmi part we should be able to toggle this okay so what we have done is to how we can communicate the plc in machine expert with the hmi on Mitchell designer we just need to use a simple configuration add all the values that we want to share with the hmi once you added the the variables on the HMI, you just need to define on the PLC part the node name. Once the node name is defined, you need to check the security. Once the security is checked, you just need to download to the target that you should be able to have the communication. So if you don't want to use the security on the PLC, what you need to do, I already made another video for that, but I can show you here on the security you can disable the user rights. So if I disable this, use that, I'm going to save the backup on the controller. Okay. Okay, disable this. So this is the disable on the PLC. So I'm going to connect again with the controller. Okay. Okay, good. You can see it didn't ask me for any password at all. Now I'm going to simulate the HMI, but before doing that, I'm going to disable the security. So simulate, and now we should be able to communicate without any problem to the HMI, to the PLC. This, and there we go. So no security at all, okay and we are able to communicate with the hmi without any problem so this is how you can communicate the plc machine expert with the hmi's own vgl designer so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one